All right, in just a few days, it will be the end of an era for the Lakeside Mall. The doors will be closed for good on July 1st. And it'll be turned into the Lakeside Town Center with retail, office, and residential space. Developers plan an estate sale inside the mall where people can take away a piece of history. 7 News Detroit reporter Tara Braddock tells us what's up for grabs. Tara? Come July 1st, Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights will be closed for good. It will be eventually torn down. So throughout the week, people have been stopping by to see the mall while it's still standing. What's some of your fondest memories of Lakeside Mall? Um, well, coming here as a kid, we used to go ice skating, usually on a Sunday that we'd come out, you know, with the family. St. Clair Shores resident Michelle Siminski stopped by Lakeside Mall on Wednesday to take a last look inside of it before it closes. Just walking around and looking at all the empty stores, just kind of um, reminiscing, you know, seeing what it was like. And Siminski wasn't the only person who came to say goodbye to the 48 year old mall. See what's left and get one last glimpse of uh, what used to be and move on from there. And what does Lakeside Mall mean to this area? Oh, I think it's something that's kind of special. I mean, uh, especially for the people that grew up around here. You know, there's a lot of good memories in here. The Florida based developer who owns the site of the mall plans to demolish the building, except for the JCPenney and Macy's. Plans for the site include a $1 billion project that includes retail office, residential space, along with a park and hotel. Before the mall is demolished, the public will have an opportunity to buy fixtures, furniture, and equipment that are inside the mall. Probably well, take a bench, store. honestly. You yeah. Take a bench? yeah, somewhere to sit down. Sure, because I think a lot of people have been there and it's a piece of history from the store, so why not? I'll take a bench. As far as the art sculptures inside of the mall, those will be repurposed within the new development project. Meanwhile, Michelle Siminski says she's happy community members will have a chance to buy fixtures from inside the mall. That's great that somebody can have a little um, piece, you know, to remember it by. Money raised from the estate sale will go to a local charity. Details of when the sale will happen will be released later in the year. Reporting in Sterling Heights, here Braddock, 7 News Detroit.